Hi everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. Today, we will be using math as our superpower to learn about bar graphs. For each flavor of ice cream, Ms. Roberts asked for a show of hands so she can see who likes each flavor. When she asks who likes sour sub, only five students raise their hand. So, she writes the number five next to sour sub. When she asks who likes guava pineapple, 10 students raise their hands. So, she writes 10 next to guava pineapple. Lastly, when she asks who likes coconut, 20 students raise their hands. So, she writes 20 next to coconut. This is Miss Roberts, a standard three teacher with a class of 35 students. She is throwing her class a surprise class party for the end of the term. She wants to know how much of each flavor of ice cream she should get for her students. She decides to represent this information in a bar graph. First, she has to put a title on the top of her bar graph. She names it Students' Favorite Ice Cream. The height of the bar graph represents the number of children in each category. The width of the bar graph is used to represent the different flavors of ice cream. Because Miss Roberts has a lot of children in her class, she does not want her bar graph to be too big. So, she heads up the height of her bar graph in groups of five. Firstly, she checks to see how many children chose soursop. Only five children chose soursop, so she draws her first bar to meet the number five on the vertical column. Next, she checks to see how many students chose guava pineapple ice cream. She sees that 10 students chose this flavor, so she draws her second bar to meet the number 10 on the vertical column. Lastly, she checks to see how many students chose coconut flavored ice cream. 20 students chose this flavor, so she draws her last bar to meet the number 20 on the vertical column. Now that the bar graph has been completed, can you tell which ice cream flavor was the least popular? If you guessed soursop, then you are correct. Ms. Roberts also wants to show her class that bar graphs can be represented horizontally. To do this, she switches the height of her bar graph so that it now represents the different flavors of ice cream. Then, she changes the width of the bar graph so that it now represents the number of children. Now, she just draws the bars horizontally so they form a horizontal bar graph. I hope you had fun learning with me today about bar graphs. Try the Pentacool exercises below to earn points and win great prizes.